In this Creator AI review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this support tool. Creator AI is an artificial intelligence tool that makes it fast and easy to create content for your blog, social media, website, and many more. Upon logging into Creator AI, we are greeted by the dashboard. Below the dashboard, it has a project section. It's obviously automatically created a project called Daniel's Project. You can, of course, add a new project and just put in the title there and the description. So there's a big banner saying, what would you like to do? If we scroll down, we can see all the features that the AI can generate content for. For some examples, headline, blog intro, blog body, email text, Facebook ad title, Facebook ad text, and this goes on and on with loads and loads of different features. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on YouTube video description. This takes us over to this page. Now, if we did change our minds, we can just select the AI assistant. We've got all the options to choose from there. What you will first do is put in your video title. Once you've put in a video title, if you just put a keyword to rank for, then below there in settings, we have a couple of options. In creativity, we have optimal, non, low, medium, high, or max. I'm gonna set this as high. We can also select the number of outputs from one to two, three, all the way up to six. I'm gonna go for three. We have tone of voice, so you can set this for whatever you're going for. You could do friendly, angry, sad, I'm going to try charismatic and then there is also the option for emojis. I'm going to go ahead and tick that. Then once you've put that in, if you just click create, once we click create, we can see it's generated a YouTube description for us. Now, obviously our title was how to get a million YouTube subscribers. So it's taken that on board and has given us almost a step-to-step -step guide to put into the YouTube description. Got include a link to subscribe button in the video description. Ask views to subscribe to your channel in the video end your videos with a strong call to action to subscribe, and so on. If we go back to the dashboard, we can see which other features we can try. At the top here, we can see they're split into sections. We've got it on all, but we can obviously go have a look at blog, digital ad, e-commerce, social media, video, or writer. There's so many different results here from photo post caption to business or product name, to even love letter. If we go ahead and try photo post caption, it will ask us, what is your post about? I've just put in there, traveling to Disney World, and we're gonna set the creativity to medium, tone of voice friendly, emojis ticked. And as we can see there, it's generated us three outputs. The first one being ready to make some magic happen at the happiest place on earth. And that's pretty good if you ask me. Again, there's loads of different features here. There's even a creative story set the creativity as medium, output free, tone of voice friendly. As we can see, it's actually generated a full story about a ghost which is stuck in purgatory until they can visit Disneyland. So if we go back on the dashboard and just look to our left, we can see that there's quite a few different options to choose from here. Now, editor is just the section that we were in where obviously you can select your AI assistant. There is also the option for documents. So if we click onto there, and then as we can see documents here, you can find all the documents you have created. If we go on new, then that takes us over to the AI assistant and we can create a new document. We also have the AI assistant, which just gives us a, a list of all the different AI assistants. We have the favorites tab where we can favorite our best AI assistants. We also have the open form section. If we just click onto there. So in the description box here, we can sort of put whatever we want and it's going to try and generate this without being defined to the specific AI assistants. So if I just type in a command in here, so I've just gone for top 10 wealthiest rappers. And if I click search there, then as we can see, it's actually just generated a list of the top 10 wealthiest rappers. If I try a title for a self-help book based on waking up early and we click create and straight away there, it's given us three outputs. The early rises guide to a successful life, wake up early and change your life. How to use the power of the morning to transform your health, wealth and happiness. The power of early rises how to maximize your morning to transform your life. As we can see, the artificial intelligence is creatively coming up with these results. 
as we can see there's loads of different options that can be done in the open form format. Below open form, if we click on to output, so here we can see all the artificial intelligence output, everything that we've inputted in and tried to get results from, the outputs will be shown here. As we can see, there is our book title, The Early Risers Guide to a Successful Life, and uh, we've also got the top 10 wealthiest rappers there. Finally, at the bottom, we have a translate box. So as we can see, we've got this at the moment from English to English. We could change this to from English to Swedish. And if we just enter some text into the box, then this will give us a translation in Swedish. You can always do this the other way from another language to English. If I paste some Japanese into there, we can see that that says hello. And that's just about everything. So what do I think of creative AI? It was super easy to use and I had a lot of fun playing around with it. There was a massive selection of AI assistants to choose from. And then if that wasn't enough, there was also the open source, which worked equally as well. I really do see massive potential for this tool, and it's something I can definitely see myself using in the future. So would I recommend Creator AI? I would definitely recommend it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.